to the video tutorial for this cat collar slash tiara. Now it's almost impossible to get Melbourne to stay with it as a tiara while I film this. So we've got it as a collar, but you can see it's a really cute little collar. So if you like this tutorial, please like, share and subscribe and hope to catch you soon. Thanks. Bye. Okay, for this tutorial, you'll need some yarn. I'm going to use this one here. It's a 50% acrylic, 50% wool with a metallic thread through it. Um, I like a bulkier look for my projects generally, but you could certainly use um, a yarn that's a, a much lighter weight than this one. Uh, as long as you just stick to the circumference and the chain length that you need, you can adapt it to, to any wool weights. You need a crochet hook that corresponds to your yarn. For this project I'm going to use a 3.5 millimeter. You'll need a darning needle to uh, weave in your end or ends. And you'll also need some scissors to snip your ends and a tape measure to measure the circum circumference of your cat's head as well as the length of your chain. Okay, so the, the techniques that you'll need to know for this project are how to slip knot onto your hook, how to create a chain, how to single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, those are all US terminology, and how to weave in your ends at the end of the project. So it's a, a beginner friendly project like most of my, my uh, tutorials. And at this point I also just wanted to make a comment or two about the yarn. So I'm going to use, as I said, this one here, which is a, a, um, it's a bulkier yarn for a project like this. But I tend to prefer my projects to have a bulkier look. So I made this one up in the golden brown color. Uh, it's the same yarn, and I made it up in, the, in, in this color here. And I, I really like how it's turned out. But I know that that won't be to everyone's taste and I just wanted to let you know that you can certainly use a f much finer yarn if you wanted to. You probably can't go too much bulkier than the yarn that I'm using here um, but you could certainly go finer and down to much finer. This one I made up in a, it's a cotton, I think it might be a 50% cotton, 50% acrylic. It's also got a little shimmer through it, I'm not sure if that will show up on camera. But it gives this more lacy, fine, delicate look. So you might prefer that look. Um, so as long as you stay true to the, the measurements that you make, you can use any, any yarn weight that you like. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing that you'll need to do is work out the length of your foundation chain. So as best you can, and some cats won't tolerate this very well, um, you need to measure around the, the cat's head. So beneath the ears, moving around to the back of the head. So it sits sort of towards the, you know, towards where, um, you know, the, the head starts to move towards the neck. Now for Melba, that's around 30 centimetres, that circumference. So when um, I put this on her as a crown or a tiara, she, she lets me take a few photos with it and uh, then she starts to sort of shake it off her head. So you might be more lucky than me and get your cat to wear it um, longer than that. Um, obviously you don't want to force your cat to do something they don't want to do. But um, yeah, you might be able to get a few cute photos out of it being a a tiara. Otherwise for Melba with her neck circumference being around 25, 24, 25 centimeters that allows plenty of, of extra for it to sit down as a quite a pretty collar. So she, you know she can have it as a crown, take a couple of photos and then it can be just worn as a pretty collar. So um, work out the length of the chain that you need and we'll start crocheting. Okay, so to get started, slip knot onto your hook. However you do that, there's lots of different techniques. Now, if you need to brush up on any of the techniques that I'm running through today, please uh, just check out maybe a YouTube video. There's plenty of, of absolute beginner videos on how to do these basic stitches. But if you, if you have some of these basic techniques, just uh, come along with me. So we're going to chain to the length that we have worked out that we need. So for me, I'm going to chain to, as I said, 30 centimeters. So you chain to the length that you need 
and I'll meet you back here once we've reached that length. Okay, so I've got my chain length of around 30 centimeters, and now we're going to join the two ends together to make a loop. So just check that your, your chain is not twisted in any way, and slip stitch into the first chain. Actually, I didn't mention slip stitch at the beginning of the techniques, but you know, let's assume you know how to do that. Do that. So you've created your loop. Now, I just want to mention here too is that this this pattern, um, just to simplify it, I'm making it as a tiara. So there will be this gap at the back in between all of the the peaks. Now, if you wanted to make it a crown, so the peaks go all the way around, then you'd have to work in multiples of six with your chain. I'm not going to talk any further about that um, in this tutorial because I'm making it as a tiara. And I also think that that makes it a bit easier for your cat to wear so there's not this bulk at the back of the head. So it's it's a tiara. You won't. It doesn't matter how many chains you've made as long as you've made it um, to the length that you need because we're going to leave this, this, this gap at the back. Okay, so from here we're going to start row one. So chain two... And then we're going to place a half double crochet into each chain in the round. So half double crochet, yarning over, inserting your hook, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three. So just a reminder, these are US, this is US terminology. I'm not familiar with British uh, terminology so I use US terminology Oops. now this yarn with the thread through it is a little bit tricky to work with and it's a, I apologize it's a little bit harder for you to see the stitches but follow my voice instructions and I'll also put uh, put written instructions onto the video when I edit as well so half double crochet in each chain in the round and I'll meet you when we're back to the beginning of our round here. Once you're at the end you'll find your first stitch and again I apologize it's not the easiest yarn to demonstrate on camera with but um, like I said with my voice and the written instructions hopefully that you you can um, follow along. So you'll find your first stitch in the row and you'll slip stitch to join that row. Okay, now you could have, I don't tend to when I'm working in the round, but you could, um, or working in a, in a circle, I, I uh, don't tend to work in my ends, I tend to weave it in at the end. Um, you could have worked it in, so um, up, it's, it's entirely up to you with this, with this pattern, and I guess it's a bit late now, but um, yeah, you could have worked it in if you wanted to. Now at this point, if you're using a finer yarn, um, you'll want to do another row of half double crochet, which is what I've done here. There's two rows of half double crochet in this one. Because I'm using the bulkier yarn, I'm going to keep it at just one row of half double crochet. But if you want to make it um, in a, this finer yarn or a finer yarn, then uh, go ahead and do another row of half double crochets. Just doing exactly what you've, what you've just done. Otherwise, we're going to move along to create these peaks okay so if you're if you're doing another row pause here and uh, do your 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 second row and uh, then rejoin us once you're ready so moving along to create the peak so here chain three and then back into that same space so this actually counts as a stitch okay it counts as a double crochet so yarn over back into that same space add two more double crochets considering that the chain counts as a double crochet okay so now you've essentially got three double crochets into that that's first space now chain four and then you're going to work three more double crochets back into that same space 
So three more double crochets. One and two and three. So that's essentially the, the pattern that we'll work to to create these peaks. Now here skip two. So if you might just need to move your 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 the bottom of your peak away just to see the two. So one, two, single crochet into the next stitch along. And then skip two, and then we're going to double crochet in that third stitch along. And then add two more double crochets into that same stitch. So we're starting at the second peak now. Okay, so we've got our first peak there, we're starting our second one now. So we've added three single crochets into that stitch. So just to recap, so we've done our six double crochets to create the peak. We skipped two, single crochet, skip two, three double crochets. Then we chain four, and then three more double crochets back into that same stitch. Two and three. Okay, so moving on to the third one, skip two, one, two, single crochet, skip two, double crochet. And that's the first of three, number two, and then number three, chain four, and then three more double crochets back in that same space. One and two, oops, two and three back into that same space. Okay, so keep moving along, making those peaks as we've been doing. And then what you do is you can do, what I tend to do in, in this one, I did one, two, three, four, five, six peaks. So you're going to complete anywhere from four to six peaks most likely if you're using a bulkier yarn. For this, this one that I made with the thinner yarn, the lighter weight yarn, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten peaks. So you do enough so you leave this back piece at the end. Now, what I pro if I made this one again, what I probably would do is I'd only do, I don't know, maybe I would do eight. 10 is okay. Actually, 10 is okay in this. You just want to leave this gap at the at the back so it's not too bulky behind your cat's ears, okay, or on the back of the neck if you're using it as a collar. So I'm going to continue. I've done three here, and I'm going to do a total of six peaks. So keep moving along, repeating the same pattern that, that uh, skip two, single crochet, Skip two, double crochet by three into that same stitch, chaining four, chaining four, doing another lot of three double crochets back into that same stitch, and then repeating the process again. So I'm going to do that a total of three more times. I've got three here. I'm going to do three more. And I'll meet you at the end of however many you're doing for the yarn that you're using and the size of the, the gap that you want at the back here. Okay, so I'll catch you soon. Okay, I've completed my six peaks. So I've left a gap at the back here, and I think that's about the same as what I left for the brown one. Yeah, it's close. It's pretty close. I mean, I could maybe complete another one here, but I think I'm just going to leave that um, 
length at the back there, leave that gap. And so it's less bulk for around behind Melba's head. So just leave the gap that you want. If you want a smaller gap, you can certainly do that. I'm going to I'm going to stop here. When you're ready and and happy with the number of peaks that you've made in your tiara, you'll just find the next stitch along and slip stitch. And then you'll slip stitch all the way across until oops. Sometimes with this metallic it's a bit tricky. Okay, there we go. And you'll slip stitch all the way along the gap until you reach the other side. And then we're going to slip stitch into that first peak. So you can just see how it's kind of riding up a little bit on the side there. So we're just going to slip stitch to anchor that one down. So continue with your slip stitches across your gap and uh, I'll meet you back here once we reach the other side. Okay, so I'm just placing my last couple of slip stitches in here in this gap space. And then I'm going to anchor this first peak to the main part of my tiara or to the band of my tiara. So find that first chain that you made in the first tiara and slip stitch to join. And then to finish off yarn over pull through. I'm just leaving enough so you can weave in your end. Snip off your end. Pull that tight. And then all that's left is to weave in your two ends, or you may only have one end if you'd worked in. I've already sewn in my other end here off camera. So um, weave in your ends or end. You may have worked in your end at the, um, at the beginning. But, oh, thread your darning needle with your, with your end. And then you're just going to weave it through the back of the tiara. Just to anchor it into the, the project and tidy it up and finish it up. So let's pull this through. Oh, it's a bit hard to get through. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so just weaving it into the back. You can go backwards and forwards a few times. For a project like this, I tend to just weave weave through once. So go ahead and, and weave in your ends, and I'll meet you back here once I've finished doing this off camera. Okay, so I've woven in my end the back in the back there as much as I feel like I need to. I'll just snip off the excess. And there's my silver tiara to match my gold one. So if your cat won't let you um, put this on them as a tiara, you can um, of course just use it as a, as a collar. So I just slip this over Melba's head and leave the, the points hanging down and it creates actually a really pretty, pretty collar. Um, so however your cat will, will let you wear it, um, let you, yeah, <laughs> take some photos perhaps if if you can get a couple of photos I would love to see them so please send those along to catventurous.community at gmail.com or you can also tag us on social media uh, catventurous.crochet and that's on Facebook and Instagram also check out the description box below and and see where you can find us on other social media we're also on Pinterest and Tumblr also on TikTok so uh, yeah Love to see your photos and see how this, is, this project has turned out for you. So uh, thanks very much for joining me and uh, as always, hope to see you soon. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel and uh, support me, show me that you like what I'm doing. So take care everyone and catch you soon. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to the video tutorial for <laughs> this cat collar. <laughs> or tiara. Be nearly impossible to get my elbow to wear this while <laughs> as a tiara while I film this. Okay, baby. You had enough? You had enough? Okay, baby.
Good girl, Wilma. Look how cool you are now. Good job. Good job. <laughs> you look a bit grumpy. Oh, good girl, Melba. No biting. No biting. Good girl. Hey, Melba. You're so good at this these days. Well done. Good job. Hardly any bloopers. <laughs>